Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And before we go into this morning program, we want to give God thanks for life again. That this morning we are numbered among the living. So many people went to bed last night with the hope of waking up this morning. And they didn't make it. But the minute we wake this morning and our eyes are open, we have much to give God thanks for. This morning, we want to look at two incidents. One, a double murder at a service station yesterday. And the, a follow-up to the 16-year-old Alpha school girl who was killed. Now, according to Luke, two men are dead after a gun attack on Monday at a service station at the intersection of Mullines Road and Red Hills Road in St. Andrew. Gunmen reportedly peppered a car parked at the service station with leaving two men badly injured and pronounced dead later in the day. Police sources believe the attack stemmed from a bloody turf war between competing fractions from Aki Walk and Common Community in the area. The police communications network confirmed the shooting, but there was no details of the press time. Now, Red Hills Road. It seems as if that war in that community never ends. You might have a lull in action for a while, then it picks up. And persons who are killing each other in that community, they, they live so close by, that area is so closely knitted, that you wonder... Why can't people live together in harmony? Where if Akiwalk is, is warring against commons, they are very close by. Walking distance. Persons who go to school from Akiwalk would know persons who go to school from commons. They would know their hangout spot. They would know their friends. They would know their family. And people consistently get themselves caught up in gang related activities but one thing i like about this clansman trial that is going on is that we have now seen that persons who are you have persons in the society who is tired of killing tired of gang related activities and if the the, the clansman trial is one marker that can give the police a push and know when and how to dismantle some of these gangs. Because, take look at it. Innocent people are losing their lives in the midst of all of this. Now, we don't know if these two men that were killed at the service station in the car are innocent. But innocent bystanders could have lost their lives in this incident however based on what we hear the shooter just went up to the car and pumped bullets in the car so he knew his target and clearly if the car was parked at the service station i don't think it's a case where he was just the, the shooter was just passing by and happened to run into these men information must have been passed on or he must have been trailing these men and when they reach at the get the service station he decided that he's going to do his act right now but we have seen too many young lives that if they if they harness their skills into something else if they put their effort into something else the communities and jamaica would be a far better place we have too many young idle hands around and who are easily infiltrated and indoctrinated by gangsters we know we have gangsters behind bars even this red hills road we all we all hear about the gangster behind bars who is pulling the trigger in terms of giving out the instructions who's to do this what is to happen and anybody don't do this this is to happen our system prison system needs a proper cleansing. Some of these corrupted cor correctional officers 
needs to go. Prison is a place where a person should go and sit down and reflect and be rehabilitated. Not where it's normalcy and they pull the strings just as if they were on the road. But we, we wait to see what the police investigation will come up with. As we haven't seen the identity of these two men. But I can bet you it's two young men. Based on... The, 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 based on what's happening in Jamaica. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Well, the other story we want to follow up with is yesterday we brought you a story of the 16-year-old Alpha Academy student, Sarika Picard, who was killed by her granduncle, 46-year-old Glenford Henry. And I said to you yesterday that... We haven't heard the reason why she was killed. But clearly, it was, just, it was just not a case where he got up and shoot her. Something happened. Well, the police have held on to him now. And based on the Jamaica Lope, it said Glenford Henry, the man who was being sought by police in, the connect, in connection with the killing of his grandniece on Saturday, is now in police custody. He was arrested in Seaview Garden St. Andrew on Monday. The police launched a search for Henry following the fatal shooting of his 16-year-old grandniece on Saturday. And you could all remember, in his bid to escape, he also engaged police in shootout. So he has a lot of things on, feet, on his plate right now coming at him. Right? But as I, I made it clear, he's a deportee. And the problem we have with deportees in Jamaica, not all of them, I make it clear, that some of them come back to Jamaica and they believe whatever they were doing overseas, they should continue it in Jamaica and be a nuisance to people. You have other deportees who come here and change their lives and try to live a better life. Those, we embrace them and we big them up. But those who come here and try to destroy the place and infiltrate the other, the other youngsters, we tell you, time is the master. The, po the police or your enemies are going to catch up on you. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe. Look out for a neighbor. Look out for a loved one. Look out for the children. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.